we'd like to thank everyone for joining us on the eve of Betsy and Andrew's wedding. As I look at these two beautiful people tonight, oh God, I think, I think back to when Andrew told us that Julie Strauss was trying to set him up with a girl from New York. When we met Betsy, we could see why Andrew fell in love with her and how amazing they are together. Now it's hard to imagine our family without her. And after tomorrow, she'll officially become a Clampin. Wendy and I are truly honored to share such a wonderful occasion with our family and friends. To Lisette and Hank Siegel, Wendy and I could not have asked for a nicer Mahatonum to share the future with. We look forward to celebrating Simcha's holidays, good food, good wine, for many years to come, and not always with Betsy and Andrew. Betsy and Andrew signed their ketubah, their Jewish marriage license. It tells the extraordinary story of Betsy and Andrew's relationship. It tells about Big Sur, California, where they got engaged. It tells about Manhattan, where they first lived together. It tells about Philadelphia, where they first met and where they are getting married today. It tells about Georgia, where they experienced the beginning of their dating when Andrew lived in Atlanta. And it tells about New Jersey, where they've created their most recent home and where they will live as husband and wife. Wendy and I first met your family, or most of them, at a brunch right after Thanksgiving almost a year ago. I had no idea what to expect. As I stood behind the bar, watching the Seagulls filter into the apartment, sit down, mingle, eat, watch the Eagles game, I realized that Betsy was correct when she said, the Seagulls are a fun, loving, and compassionate family. Hank and Lissette and the rest of the Seagulls, welcome to our family. to Wendy and Jeff, our hosts for the evening. Every parent hopes for a beautiful wedding for their child, and Lisette and I can't imagine any more beautiful than this. Thank you so very much. And a night like this is only as incredible as it is because we're surrounded by those most dear to us. So you truly honor us with your presence tonight, and we're just thrilled to have the opportunity to celebrate with all of you, so thank you for being here. Mikadesh Edli, Batabatso, Kedat Moshe v. Israel. By this ring, you are holy to me, as my wife, in accordance with the tradition of Moses in Israel. Harayata, Mikudashli, Batabatso, Kedat Moshe v. Israel. By this ring, you are holy to me, as my husband, in accordance with the tradition of Moses in Israel. It would be easy for me to say that I can't believe this day has come. But if I'm honest, from the moment I locked eyes with you on Julie's wedding dance floor almost four years ago, I knew you were special. I'll never forget the way you looked at me. I'll never forget that your eyes had this intensity, a look that instantly made me want to know everything about you. I knew that you were special, intriguing, a little bit mysterious, super fun to dance with, and admittedly that you looked really good in leather pants at the after party. I knew I had to see you again. He's exactly the same as he was when he was a little boy. People like to say that Andrew was born 40. He was always very serious, but with a very funny sense of humor. Well, Betsy was always an old soul. She was always uh, ahead of her time in terms of wanting to grow up and be an adult. He's very um, dependable. He's very honorable. If he says he's going to do something, he does it. I was laughing because Betsy got ready in the room with one with her friends, three of which were kids she's been friendly with since kindergarten, and then her best friend from overnight camp. I think that he makes her feel very safe and comfortable. I think she respects him. She thinks he's very smart and very hardworking. I'm laughing because my best friend from overnight camp was there too. So, you know, it just shows you how 
all of us have these very long-term friends that were there, and so there was just so much love in the room. I think she feels her best with him. She can be totally herself. I think they bring out the best in each other. Once they got together, that was it. And I think they'll have a very happy life. Oh, I think he sees a partner. I think she's beautiful, and I think he sees that she's beautiful inside and out. He enjoys that she laughs at his quirky jokes that aren't always so funny. I think he, he sees a, another solid person with the same values that he has about family and life. Over the last few years, you've reminded me time and time again why you're the best person I know, why I love you so much, and why I'm so lucky to be marrying you today. I <laughs> know. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Ready? Love each other. I love you. Love each other. I have dreamed of this day since I was a little girl, like every girl does. I knew I would eventually find my forever person. That person is you. Mama, what do you think? So pretty. Through the good times and even the bad, we are a team in a few short hours, officially partners for life, best friends forever, and can conquer anything that life throws at us. You are my rock, and I truly can't imagine my life without you. Oh my god. I love you. I love you too. You ready to do this? <laughs> <laughs>
People gravitate to you. People love you. You are the most caring person I know. And your instinct to genuinely think of and put others before yourself means that I get to see the best example of being a good human being every day I'm with you. More than one person has told me in the past few years that they would keep you over me. <laughs> so I better not screw this up. I tried my best, knowing deep down that they were right. You are amazing. I am so happy I didn't screw it up. And now, knowing that the first night we met has led to today, I have spent the last four years with you and I can say that I must be the luckiest man in the world as I prepare to call you my wife. I could not ask for a better partner to begin this journey with and I in turn promise you that I will always work to be the partner you deserve. You've shown me true love, you make me smile, and you've made me better. This is the least I could do for you. My favorite moment was standing under the chuppah. I can't see Andrew's face. I can only see Betsy's face. And I told everybody the next day, I said to all my friends, my wish for you is that you have somebody look at your child the way that Betsy was looking at Andrew that day. So on this Shabbat of return, and for the years and decades to come, may you return to these letters and the love that you share in them. May you return to this moment in which you will become husband and wife and remember the joy you are feeling right now. May you return to all the destinations on your ketubah and remember the blossoming of your beautiful relationship in Atlanta, in New York, in California, and now New Jersey. And remember all of the moments and experiences that led you to this klupa today. What an evening, really. Uh, when Betsy and I first got engaged, we knew we wanted to be here tonight with all of you, uh, all of our family and friends, and those who mean the most to us. Uh, we can't thank you all enough for coming from near and far to celebrate. It means the world to us, really, and uh, you mean the world to us, and we wouldn't have had it any other way, so thank you. Andrew. When Wendy and I first met you, we knew you were someone special. We could see that Betts was very comfortable with you and you her. You had a very calming effect on her. Andrew, you're the luckiest person in the world tonight because you are now entrusted with the lion's share of the heart of our only daughter. Wendy and I are so happy that Betsy chose you. We are thrilled to officially publicly and with tremendous love welcome you to our family. A few years back when I had the opportunity to introduce them on our wedding day, it became priority number one. You can ask my husband, priority number two is saying I do. Right off the bat, the connection was strong. Maybe a little uncomfortably strong for others on the dance floor, but when you know, you know. Andrew, Mom and I couldn't be more proud of the person that you've become. You have exceeded our expectations in every way, particularly in your choice of a life partner. From the moment I met Betsy, I knew she was special. Her warmth makes you feel like you've known her and been her best friend your whole life, even if you just met her. The way she's integrated into our family so seamlessly, which is so important to all of us, has been uncanny. Betsy, you truly are a clampet, and we love you so much. I'm incredibly thrilled to call you my sister. From the moment mom and I laid eyes on you, we have never been so proud of you. You have certainly had a wonderful run that your mother and I are absolutely certain will continue with your latest decision to share the rest of your life with Andrew. So kids, if I may call you that, mom and I hope you will A, stay healthy, be involved in your community, look south, not north, 
to see how fortunate your lives are. Stay connected with your family and friends. Trust your gut. Both of you ex have experienced as many of life's experiences. Always, always have each other's back and always give each other unconditional love, always. Please raise your glasses to Betsy and Andrew. I'm, I'm so happy I pushed for this union. You both deserve the best and you both got it. Andrew, you truly are my hero. Uh, and you know, they say, you're never supposed to meet your heroes, but I guess whoever coined that phrase was never lucky enough to grow up right next to theirs. You are both so incredibly fortunate to have found each other. May your lives be blessed with happiness, good health, and success. May you always know that you are much loved. L'chaim. When we look at the two of you, Andrew and Betsy, we just know that you belong together. Uh, there can really be no greater joy for us as parents to witness that. Uh, and we wish you both so many years of happiness together and the best of health, knowing that the two of you together as one team are greater than any hurdle you may face in life. So once again, we'll raise our glasses to you, to Andrew and Betsy, and to all of you, thank you for being here tonight. Betsy and Andrew, Dad and I are thrilled to be able to send you off in such a wonderful way and my advice would be to try to put each other first but don't lose your individuality because that's what brought you together in the first place. We see just wonderful love in your future and travel and exciting things to come. conduct the ring exchange ceremony brought to you by Hamilton Jewelers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, it's a boy. I said, Wend, I'm not a medical doctor, but I believe that's the umbilical cord. Andrew is kind, uh, Andrew is wise, Andrew is brilliant, sexy as hell. Sorry, Andrew, I'm having trouble reading your handwriting here. 